Let's program and be creative in 3D and VR. It's time for Unity. So here we are, we have our getting started with Unity carding micro game. So we're gonna follow the tutorials to complete this game. Everything is loaded. You can see we're going to start here. I wanna click on play test, make a simple change and play your game. So if I click on the this part, you can see, click start be below to begin. It will show me that I need to click play and you can also see that here it's showing me the directions to do. So I'm gonna press play. Now it's talking about the hierarchy window. The hierarchy window is here. Hierarchy window contains a list of game objects currently added to your game. In the next step, you will select and change that. So we're gonna press next. We're gonna select a game object. So we're selecting this classic player. This is your inspector window. And you can see we're going to change some of the things in here. Let's press next. It wants us to click in this area here. Base stats and it wants us to make it faster. So I can, let's make it 25. Then we'll press next, enter play. Let's play. To exit play mode, we click here and we click done. That was just playing the test. Let's go to the editor UI. Let's click on this area. Yes, we do want to save. So now let's click start. The hierarchy and scene. You can see here's your hierarchy and here's your scene. Let's plus next. Let's select the hand tool. So up here, you can see here's your hand tool. It's a pan around. So you can see I can move around my little 3D area orbit the scene so you can see what you need to do is hold the alt or options key on a mac and then i can look all the way around my scene and i can move up and down and i can zoom up now zoom in and out again it's it's my mouse i am scrolling in and out and you can see that's how you're able to zoom this is your project window. The project window contains all your assets that are inside of this game. I'm gonna go ahead and press next. And you can see, next up, we're going to change the colors. Let's go ahead to that tutorial. Let's go to start. Let's select the cart. You can see it's right here. Now you can see, frame the cart with your mouse cursor over the scene. Press F on your keyboard. You can see what that did is when I selected my cart, and press F, it zooms in and it pretty much makes that object the main object. Let's select the cart body material. Now let's change the color. So up here in our inspector, you can see right here, there's the color. Let's make the cart whatever color you want. I want mine to be, let's say yellow works for me. I'll close that and let's go on to the next. Let's enter play mode. I pressed it twice, so I stopped it. Next tutorial is adding a jump. Let's do that. Press start. Drag prefab to scene. So you can see right here, there's a jump ramp. I'm simply gonna click on this, and I'm gonna drag a jump ramp to the screen. I'm gonna select the move tool, which is right here, and I can move it. I can press F and frame that, and then I can move it left or right, Let's move it here and let's move it back. I'm gonna scroll out and we're moving it back a little bit closer. So he's gonna jump that ramp. I'm gonna put it directly in the middle. Rotate and scale. You can see are up here. That is my move. This is my rotate. So for my rotate, you can see I can rotate. And what I'm doing is dragging, there's three axes. You can see the Y, the Z, and the X. So these are your colors. Y is green, 
X is red and Z is blue. So if I zoom into this, this red is my X. So I can rotate it this way. This right here is my Y and then this is my Z. Press next. Let's test our jump. So let's go ahead and test this. Let's press play. Okay, we're finished with that. Let's go ahead to build and share. The scene was changed because we added that. Let's save it. Congratulations, you're about to build your project. We're going to build it and share it with other people. Opening up build settings. So we're going to go to file, build settings. So click file. Then right here, build settings. We're going to do web right here. We're going to do switch platform. You can see I'm trying to select it, but right here it says install with Unity Hub. So I don't have the WebGL module loaded. So I need to go back to Unity Hub. I'm gonna close this. Go back to Unity Hub. I'm gonna go to installs. And right now I'm using this. I'm gonna go to add modules. You can see here I do not have WebGL build support. So I'm gonna select this and press next. I have read this and click done. Now it's going to install that that way I can share using the WebGL module. Now you can see here I have WebGL build support for this version of Unity. Come back over here, let's try this again. I'm gonna select WebGL, I'm gonna do switch platform. So let's do file, build settings, WebGL, switch, switch platform. Now you can see it's actually switching. I need to restart my Unity to make sure that it understands. So I'm gonna close this, do file save, and file save project. I'm gonna quit Unity, I'm gonna keep this project, and I'm gonna save it as first carding game. So now that I quit Unity, I can come to projects, and you can see it's not here, but what I can do is I can add a project. And I can select this and do open, and then now it shows up here. So let's go ahead and reopen. So we've completed these three steps. We were at build and share. Let's click back on that. Let's click start. We're gonna go open up our build settings. We're gonna click WebGL. And then now we're gonna click the build button. I'm gonna save it in the exact same place. And I'm just gonna call it first carding game. The same exact thing. I'm gonna press save. It's building our game in a HTML5, which is a web page. And we should be able to play our game in a web format using the keyboard. As you can see, your computer, Unity does take a lot of resources. And if your computer does not have great resources, this will keep spinning forever. So let's find a different way to share. So I'm going to right click on this, we're going to do force quit, and let's go back up to Unity Hub, and let's open up my carding game again. Instead of using build and share, which might take up a lot of resources for your computer, you're just going to make a video of you actually playing your game. Now before you do that, I want you to actually, let's click on our cart, press F, so we can center that, and I want you to add your name to this. So. I'm going to right click here, I'm going to add a 3D object, and I'm going to add 3D text. And you can see here is the text, if I scroll out, it's going to put it up a little bit. So this text here is called new text, I'm going to come over to my inspector, this is, I'm going to call it my info, and I don't want it to say hello world, I'm going to come down here to the text section, and I'm going to put Jamie Gant, and I'm going to do period 2. I can drag this up a little bit, or down, however you want, or up like that. Now, I want it to move with this player. So if I play this game right now, it'll start. Of 
But if I want this to move with this, I'm gonna simply drag this my info, drop it onto my cart. So now it's a part of the cart. If I move this this way or that way, you can see it moves with the cart. So now what you wanna do, we want to record this to turn this in. So I'm gonna open up a browser. I'm gonna to look to Screencast-O-Matic and we're gonna record our screen. So I'm just gonna do start free recorder. I'm gonna do launch, I'm gonna do allow. So here's a free recorder, I'm just gonna record record the full screen three two one then i'm going to press play and i'm going to play the game and the next time around i'm going to jump let's see Zoof. whoa let's see if i can stick the landing boom i crashed i'll stop it once you're done with that you simply save your game and then upload that to your assignment that's all for this tutorial. Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save and then turn it into your teacher.